let's floor it here and see what it's got. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, I think we need we need to keep cars like this intact and we need to take care of them because we're not gonna get cars like this again. Super analog driving experience. I don't know about you, but I think the Mazda Miata, it has to be one of the best sports cars ever made. And this right here is this 2003 model with only 32,000 miles on it, which is just nuts to think about. This is actually the facelifted NB2 version. The first Miata was introduced in 1989 at the Chicago Auto Show, and it instantly became the best-selling two-door sports car ever. So what we're going to do in this video is talk about this front-end design, talk about the side and the rear, and also the interior of course of this cute little Miata and then we're gonna take it for a drive. Huge thanks to Stefan of Urban Motors for letting me review this car. They have a very cool selection of very unique cars for sale right now. Go check it out at urbanmotorsco.com or click the link down in the description. The idea behind the Miata was that Mazda wanted to create almost like a modern version of the vintage 60s uh, British and Italian small roadsters and that's how they came up with the first generation the NA 1989 Miata. As I said this is the facelifted NB2 so what that means is that we have a different lower front fascia on this design and we also have these fog lights that did not exist in the normal NB1 the pre-facelift to this. What I love about this design is that it's part of it's definitely right at the peak of the melted cheese era when it comes to car design however this doesn't feel like it's been sitting in the sun for too long and just melted all the graphic features yes we do have rounded headlights and we do have this beautiful bulge in the hood everybody wants a bulge in the hood like we have here and also beautifully sculpted fenders but no really sharp lines here the only sharp lines I can see in the front end is right here and it goes around the headlight kind of cutting in here I wouldn't even call this a sharp line but overall this melted cheese design on the Miata actually works and I think it's a fantastic little design. What I love most about the Miata design is I think it's it has this friendly happy face and today when you have the Toyota Yaris even being angry for no reason I think it's really cool that Mazda is still to this day having sort of a friendly happy face and I think this lower part looks if you look at this from a straight front view it actually looks like it's smiling with this intake in the middle. The ND, which is the latest Miata, feels maybe a little too aggressive. I would like to see them dial that back and bring back this funky, happy front face for the Miata because I think that's a car that has no reason to look angry in the front end. And I actually prefer these old designs the, over the new one, even though I think the new one looks great, but it just doesn't have that uh, spirit of what a Miata should look like when it comes to aggression in the front face. Now, as you know, the side view being the most important view when you want to get an overview of the proportions of the car and this is as you can see a very very small car well that's one of the appeal that you have with the Miata they kept it small and they really stuck to that formula throughout the decades what I love about the NB2 is that we get these side skirts that we don't have on the NB1 I think they kind of adds to the sportiness of this car and it also makes the car hug the ground better because this line actually continues from the front bumper and then continues all the way into the rear right here we also have this added piece to the NB2 that did didn't exist on the NB1. One detail that I think it's very interesting when you see it it's kind of hard to unsee but that is the positioning of the side mirror. So have a look at this. Have a look at the entire length of the door and have a look at the position of the side mirror. It feels like it's almost in the middle of the door and I feel now that I look at it now that I noticed it I feel like this side mirror should sit maybe somewhere here. I don't know if that's just me but one of these details that when I saw it, it was very hard to unsee. Another feature I love about the NB2 are these five spoke 16 inch wheels. I believe these were optional, but I would definitely want to have the 16 inch wheels instead of the 15 inch. I think they kind of fill out the wheelhouses better. Overall, we have the same kind of styling in the side view that we have in the front with one single line going right here. This is pretty much the only line, def defined line, semi-defined that I can see in the car, and that is this line here, fades into the car over this area. Other than that, it's all about the melted cheese all around this car, and I absolutely love it. Last but not least, as you know, I'm a huge fan of three-quarter rear views. I'm sure you know that by now, and I think the Mazda Miata NB looks fantastic from this angle, specifically when we have the wheels turned in the front end as well. And then we have this, which is an attempt of having 
putting a ducktail in the rear. But I feel the force of the melted cheese was too strong, so they overruled the ducktail design. And we still have a little bit of a bulge, but there is absolutely zero definition in this area. And the thing is, I don't think it would suit this car to have a sharp ducktail because that would be the only sharp area of the entire car. So I actually think that this halfway ducktail with this little bulge in the rear kind of suits the overall design of the car because we have a similar treatment in the hood of the car, which I showed you, the, the little bulge that we have in the hood. It feels like that transitioned into this ducktail in the rear. Then we have the taillights, pretty much the same feeling that we have in the front end graphics with the rounded circular piece in the middle. And then we have two half circles on each side looking really tight. I also love this bumper. It's a solid bumper that preserves a purpose to be just that, a bumper. There's no unnecessary styling in this car. And we also have a single exhaust pipe in the rear, which I think adds to the overall cuteness of the Miata NB. I don't know about you, but I think this is a car that definitely looks better with the top down. It was designed to be a roadster. I think you can tell by looking at the proportions of this car and specifically with these 16 inch wheels, just looks absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, trying to step inside <laughs> the Mazda Miata MB. It's definitely easier with the roof down. I mean, there is really not a lot to talk about in here because everything is so basic. You have a basic glove box. These vents are very basic. I love that they're rounded. It kind of suits the overall roundness of this car in general. I like the angle of the of the windshield. It feels like it's almost 45 degrees. And when you have a Roadster, I prefer them to have a bit of a steeper angle. It just looks better. For example, one, one good example of that is the BMW Z8, which has almost a perfect 45 degree angle. Love the white gauge clusters that we have adding to the sportiness, but not just that, it makes for good contrasting dials. So it's easy to read. We also have a nice 90s or two, early 2000s um, housing for the gauge cluster. Right here, we have the Bose radio, the controls for the AC, the, the vents, and of course, the tight short manual six speed uh, transmission, which I also absolutely love. We have a proper e brake right here, and the steering wheel feels perfect for this car. It's very small, pretty thin, but we have three spoke design of the steering wheel, adding again to the sportiness of this car. Now, me being 6'1, it feels maybe a, <laughs> a little cramped in here, but I'm actually more comfortable than I thought. And I think I have the seat all the way back to the backrest over there. And I have some leg room. It's not really that bad. And it's, it's surprising to me. The only issue that I would have driving this top down is that I would have to have my cap like this because otherwise my head would stick up and my hat would fly off. All right, guys, setting off in the Mazda Miata NB. And I can't believe that this only has 30, 32,000 miles on it. It's such a fun car to drive. This car, the Miata, was never about the power. It was always about the lightweight handling that we have in this car. Pretty weak car, 142 horsepower. It just feels like a little rocket when you're driving this thing. So let's floor it here and see what it's got. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, I have to admit, it feels a little tight in here. Uh, you know, I'm 6'1 I'm and fitting into a Miata NB. I still have some leg room, but not a lot. Doesn't really matter. I'm still having a really good time driving this car. And I can see how fun this would be just taking it up to, to the mountains and driving it up there. Even though it's fun to drive on normal streets like this because you have that sensation of speed. I'm going 40 now, and it kind of feels like I'm doing 75. It really feels great to be back in, in, in a car of this era. It's just so much fun to drive, and you can feel everything. You feel the vibrations in the steering wheel, the vibrations in the, in the gear shifter. It's just a very anal completely different feel to, to modern cars with a completely analog experience that you can basically only get in older cars. I can feel the wind about to blow off my hat. So let's do this. That's better. There we go. Beautiful spring day in Colorado with the Mazda Miata with the top down. Pretty good day. You know, I think we need 
we need to keep cars like this intact and we need to take care of them because we're not going to get cars like this again super analog driving experience and there we are if you want to put the roof back up very easy grab the handle back here oh there we go a little heavier than <laughs> than expected if i'm honest and they just snap them into place on both sides right here and that's that's it